Iluka has found a distraction whilst in the bay though, in the form of Kirby. Sparks flew between the pair as he introduced himself to her at the board shop, and next week she can't help but watch as Iluka works out on the beach in front of her. When Molly confirms to Rose that Iluka still doesn't know about her occupation, she warns him that he needs to be told, pointing out that she's working tomorrow and he may well see her in uniform. As Rose quizzes Aluka on his plans, he explains that he was told about some NRL trials up in Queensland during a recent game of footy, and with his knee holding up, he's hoping to give it a try. Rose is impressed that Aluka's trying to make something of his life, but Molly can't help but think it's a pipe dream, pointing out Aluka's age and how competitive the trials are. When Aluka is later introduced to Theo, he's intrigued to hear that he works in the local garage, and the two are soon talking about cars. Molly is uneasy after hearing them talk about the garage, his brother's dalliance with the Allens and their stolen car parts in the forefront of his mind. Iluka eventually invites Kirby to a gig, and after she previously warned him that she isn't a cheap date, she points out that there's a band playing that night that she'd like to see but the tickets are expensive. Iluka says that's not a problem and it's a date. Could this be the start of a new romance? Meanwhile, outside the club, Justin is horrified when he spots his ute being driven down the road. He calls out but it's in vain, and as he explains to Molly that someone's just stole his car, Molly can't help but fear the worst. Justin explains everything to Rose, Molly confronts Iluka outright, did you steal a ute? Iluka tells his brother to go to hell. Both Justin and Molly are left with egg on their faces when Leah, Ada Nicodemu, later returns and reveals that it was her in the ute. She had barred it and rang Justin to tell him, but he hadn't picked up the call. Molly heads back to Iluka and admits that he got it wrong, but asks what was he supposed to think? He's been involved with the Allens, his talk with Theo could have been sussing out whether the garage could be a viable place to strip cars, and he has the money to take Kirby to an expensive gig. Iluka tells Molly that he is his own cash, and returns from his room with a bag stuffed with $8,000. It turns out having his own cash was a bit of an exaggeration, as it transpires that the story about the Allens wasn't true. He instead decided to borrow the money from them, and is planning to pay it back when he's offered an NRL contract. Molly can't believe what he's hearing. Iluka has put them all in danger by stealing money from the low-life Allens, and he must be deluded if he thinks they're just going to let him get away with it. Molly then decides that it's time to drop his own bombshell, Rose is a cop. How will Aluka deal with this little revelation?